Shiva Devi from the Department of MBA International Business Management Studies, Ajay Nagarjuna University. Today we are going to learn about components and features of attitude. In previous class, we have learned about um, attitudes. What uh, what does attitudes means? Definition and introduction part. And now we are going to learn about the features of and components of attitude. Okay. So what does basically attitudes means? Attitudes refers to the feelings and beliefs of individuals or group of individuals. Okay. So attitudes are attitudes refers feelings and beliefs. Okay. And the statements will be given either favorable or unfavorable regarding any object, place, person, okay, event, etc. So for this also I have given an example like my attitude towards my job is positive means when i say i like my job okay so it expresses the attitude towards my job what attitude means positive attitude favorable attitude right now coming to components of attitude <clears throat> and here one more point the um, point is that attitudes are not inherited uh, attitudes are acquired okay attitudes are acquired not inherited by the experiences by the association of persons or objects okay or situations we, we will have a uh, favorable or unfavorable attitude either positive or negative attitude okay so attitudes are not inherited attitudes are acquired okay now basically there are three components of attitudes one is cognitive component effective component and behavioral component okay so uh, cognitive component what does cognitive component means the aspect of attitude involves belief or knowledge towards people or object or things okay basically attitude means we show our positive or negative attitudes toward a towards people or object or things or uh, situations okay here in cognitive component okay what we deal with means the aspect of attitude it involves belief or knowledge means we have an attitude towards anything depending upon our belief depending upon of our knowledge okay the information that we are having okay it results in our attitude okay for this i have given an example what is that warm water with lemon is good for health in morning okay so what this statement shows it shows about an information a knowledge okay so this is a cognitive component knowledge or information okay regarding what warm water with the lemon is good for health in morning this is a statement which implies or which gives a knowledge and information to us okay depending upon that we will have a positive or negative attitude so we may have a positive attitude regarding those uh, that aspect warm water with lemon is good for health okay coming to i believe that my immune system can fight coronavirus okay so this is related to belief okay so i believe that my immune system can fight coronavirus so a positive attitude towards the disease okay so and as positive as attitude towards our health so we believe that we have that such immune system that can fight with corona virus so cognitive component means an attitude okay either it may be favorable or unfavorable either it may be positive or negative okay but it shows the result depending upon the belief or knowledge the knowledge we have the belief we have result in the attitude so this is known as cognitive component right next one effective component what does effective component means the aspect of attitude involves emotion or feeling towards people object things etc okay 
so affective component means it deals with emotion or feeling okay in cognitive we see about belief knowledge here we see about emotion feeling try to understand the difference okay so affective component means attitude depends upon emotions attitude depends upon feelings towards people object thing event okay so here the effective component becomes stronger as an individual has more frequent and direct experience with a focal object person or situation okay means uh, having a, a frequent okay frequent experience a consistent experience with a particular object or with a particular person uh, our the effectiveness okay the effectiveness of the feeling or the effectiveness of the emotion get becomes stronger and stronger okay either it may be negative or positive anything either it may be favorable or unfavorable but the affective component shows the emotions or feelings in more larger form in more stronger form okay and for that example is i feel angry for people who don't follow the rules okay so this shows the emotions and feelings okay i hate my boss for his favoritism in the organization so this is related to the emotions and feelings of a person okay one shows emotions and feelings regarding the rules one shows the uh, emotions regarding the favoritism in the organization so these are related to the emotions and feelings but not beliefs and information right next coming to behavioral component what does behavioral component means the aspect of attitude involves action towards people object event situation etc okay so here previously we have seen in component we have seen the aspect of beliefs and the next one we have seen about the emotions right and in the third aspect behavioral component we have seen it is related to action towards people object thing so action here based on the information and notations we act towards a person object or thing that means finally we take action so this depends upon both cognitive and and effective component this cognitive component effective component rises to behavioral component so how we behave so behave in the sense the action so finally i for example if we take i hate my boss for his favoritism in the organization right and the behavioral component means i am i am taking action that i am going to leave my job right next so that is an action regarding the behavioral component towards attitude i will replace all bulbs at my home with led okay so this is also a action because until the uh, until uh, before uh, purchasing the led bulbs we were using another lights but they were not that much effective so we are replacing that bulb to led bulbs okay so that is we are taking an action there okay so next that depends both emotions feelings beliefs information knowledge etc now coming to sources so what are the sources of attitudes okay so attitudes refers to feelings beliefs of individuals or group of individuals but the question here is how feelings and beliefs okay are developed so what is the source to develop okay so what is the source to develop means it has um uh, many attitudes are acquired okay here so what are the sources for this acquired thing because attitudes are not um inherited here okay so the, those are acquired so acquired means in what cases we are acquiring those attitudes okay so uh, many um here we are taking many sources like direct personal experience means through personal experience also we will change our attitude we may have some attitude through association through family and peer group neighborhood mass communication economic status and occupation 
so these are different sources of attitudes so we are okay we are uh, uh, we are uh, having a positive or negative attitude okay towards uh, objects towards people towards events towards things okay so all these uh, on uh, on all these things we have attitude but that attitude reflects depending upon the experiences associations family members neighborhood mass communications etc all this so and each and everything we will now uh, try to read out okay so first one is direct personal experience okay so what does direct personal experience means we have some po either a positive or negative attitude towards object okay or towards things towards persons okay depending upon the experience with that person depending upon the experience with that object okay depending upon the um, experience of events or situation okay it depends upon the uh, experiences okay so finally we can say that we are having a direct personal experience okay according to that experience the attitudes can be created either it may be favorable or unfavorable either it may be positive or negative so all these depends upon the experiences okay so these attitudes which are based on personal experience are difficult to change also so this is the last thing under direct personal experience under personal experiences okay so um, which are based on personal experience experiences those attitudes are uh, stable okay uh, they will not be changed it is difficult to change those attitudes which attitudes we, which we are having a personal experience okay so if we are if at all we are having any personal experience regarding any object or thing means person means definitely that attitude will not be changed okay for example we have a, a negative attitude on any person okay so definitely we will we don't have a um, positive attitude we and uh, um, with a period with, with with a period of time also we may not change that attitude because we have personal experience with that person and it created a negative impact on us means definitely we will not change our attitude so personal experiences means they uh, yeah the, the attitudes will be difficult to change okay and coming to association okay next thing is association so by association also attitudes are formed so here uh, sometimes an individual comes across a new attitude object which may be associated with an old attitude object okay so uh, the attitude here association in the sense we are uh, with those uh, objects or events or person so we are having an association with that okay so in such cases the attitude towards the old attitude object may be transferred towards the new attitude object okay like that for example i have purchased uh, previously one laptop okay and uh, if that laptop is not working well means so the features are not that up, uh, up to my um, what to say so uh, up to my up to my confidence means so definitely i will not purchase the same laptop again the same company again definitely i will change the company another company i may shift for a uh, shift to dell company or another company okay like that if at all uh, the previous purchased object if at all it is a good thing means again and again i will go to purchase that product only why because i have an association already with that object okay so definitely i will uh, have i have a, a positive attitude towards that brand like that for example if a new worker remains most of the time in the company of a worker who is in the good looks of the supervisor and towards whom the supervisor has a positive attitude the supervisor is likely to develop a favorable attitude towards the new worker means here there is an association between supervisor and the worker okay and the worker is uh, working 
uh, more time in the organization and having a positive look towards the supervisor okay so obviously the supervisor have a positive attitude towards the worker and a favorable attitude towards the worker so finally this association okay association results in the attitude of the persons objects events so next one so this is another source another source next one is family and peer group okay so attitudes like uh, values are acquired from parents teachers peer group members etc in our early years we begin modeling our attitudes after those we admire respect or maybe even fear okay so we observe the way our family and friends behave and we shape our attitudes and behavior to align with theirs similarly attitudes are acquired from peer group in colleges and organizations right so here another source for attitudes is family and peer group they affect us okay so they become a source of attitude who family and peer groups okay so for example family and peer groups means parents teachers and our uh, peer group members if at all we are working means our peer group members okay so there will be uh, an attitude created by them okay for this uh, so if by having uh, attitude regarding family and peer groups it may also create a, any favorable or unfavorable attitude towards particular thing okay for this an example is if your parents support one political party means without being told to do so you automatically start favoring that party right so our parents our family affects our attitudes here okay so they become a source to us so depending upon our fa our parents so we have a, some uh, positive attitudes towards the po political party right next one is neighborhood so what does neighborhood means the neighborhood in which we live has certain cultural facilities religious grouping and ethnic differences okay the people belonging to different cultures have different attitudes and behaviors so we know that different cultures means they will have different beliefs they have different values they have different religious aspects religious groupings will be there so by neighborhood also okay we will have some uh, attitudes towards their cultures attitudes towards their religions attitudes towards their behaviors ethnic differences okay so all these create some attitude on us okay so uh, how as neighbors uh, live nearby ours so there will be a impact on uh, the neighborhood uh, regarding the attitude okay so those attitudes may be positive or negative but definitely an attitude will be created by uh, sourcing with the uh, neighborhood okay so in this uh, neighborhood so the differences in cultural religious ethnic okay attitudes may be uh, we may accept those or the, how the attitude will be regarding all these aspects means we may accept or we may deny okay or possibly rebel rebel in the sense conflicts okay so if at all we are uh, not having any uh, coordination or cooperation okay we don't have any positive vibes with them means definitely it will result in conflicts also okay so basically if we take neighborhood means so the attitude may be either we may accept their cultural uh, activities religious groupings ethnic differences or else we may deny okay next mass communication means attitudes are generally less stable as compared to values as i said before attitudes are stable okay generally they will not be changed frequently or consistently okay but when compared to values okay attitudes are less stable okay so advertising messages for example attempt to alter the attitude of people towards the 
certain product of service okay so in mass communication okay communication in the sense for example organizations try to attract the consumers okay by advertising repetitive advertising may affect on the people's attitude okay by showing the same uh, advertisement with positive messages means okay definitely people have some attitude regarding that advertisement okay for example if the people at hyundai sandra can get you to hold a favorable feeling towards their cars that attitude may lead to a desirable behavior for them desirable behavior for them means purchasing a car okay it will be definitely a positive aspect for the cars uh, company okay like that so mass communication means it also affects our attitudes to behave either positively or negatively okay and coming to economic status and occupation the economic status and occupational position of the individual also affect his attitude formation okay so uh, what does economic status and occupational position of the individual means so if at all we are um, financial financially very well means so the attitude also will be like that only okay compared to uh, low financial status people high financial upper class will have some attitude okay like that economic status gives some type of attitude to behave or um, attitude and coming to occupational position also so business people also have some um, they have their own attitude okay so the attitude either it may be positive or negative it also depends upon our economic status educational status occupation socio-economic background okay so all these influence our attitudes in present and future attitudes also so research findings have shown that um, unemployment disturbs former religious and economic values okay so uh, uh, disturbs religious and economic values means so unemployment so unemployment means so the unemployment results in the lower economic status okay so ultimately it uh, results in our economic values also reduces our values okay and children of professional class tend to be very conservative okay respect for the laws of country is associated with increased years of higher education means through education okay through education our attitude will also change okay if at all we are educated people means uh, we will we will have a civic sense we will have a knowledge on the lo laws of our country okay so according to that our attitude will be uh, changed for example we have uh, simple example we have a uh, uh, um, rules regarding the traffic traffic signals so it is a knowledge we are having okay according to law we have to follow okay so that is known as the attitude uh, how to behave so either it may be positive or negative but it depends upon our uh, education our financial background our socio-economic background okay our occupation professional class okay so all these results in our attitude either it may be positive or negative either and it also depends upon the attitudes depends upon our present and future attitudes also right so these are all the um, components and the sources of attitudes okay